Howdy, howdy, everybody. How are y'all doing today? Today we got some orders going out at the shop. We're going to show y'all that. A pretty big bolo for you guys and gals to look out for. You'll see at the end of this video. And uh, we've been working in the shop here. I'm filming this intro today, which is Wednesday. So anyhow, hopefully y'all enjoyed this footage from Monday and then um, today. So hopefully you enjoyed it. It's just going to be kind of a what's old video. Give you a tour around the shop, that kind of deal. Um, we've been out here working here at the house. They've been pulling out yard sale stuff for the 411 to have one. And um, yeah. So y'all enjoy the video and we'll see y'all later. Alrighty guys and gals. Apologize if it's dark in here. My light is gone. Um, anyhow, we got a few orders going out this Monday on eBay for us. We're going to pull them. First thing we got to get is two items out of this box right here. I don't see them. So let's grab them real quick. This one. I'll get this one. Okay, I got a little bit helping me this morning. So hold that up for them so they can see it. This is a Cirrus Stratus 6 radio. It's all new sealed in the little packs in there. Don't have the power cord. That's old $16.88 plus shipping. Next thing is this new old stock Sony C-1K head cleaning cassette. You can see that there. It's old $806 plus shipping. Now we gotta get some audio books. Y'all come on with me here. We gotta get some herring. Right there. Row bars. Stick them there. Y'all dim. Now I'll get this one. Alrighty, so this is just a lot of four herring row bars. Audio books. You got this one. It's a three in one. Then we got this one. Shattered. An obsession right here and these sold for us for $16.88 plus shipping them audio books went good didn't they what's the next little bit let's go to i2 first and grab this so, i2 you see where i2 is look right here look at the number she's not there's i look it's a shelf i we're looking for i2 which one of these is two on this shelf which one are these number two that's number what this one okay we gotta grab this wooden mallet here gavel gavel and um pretty neat little thing solid wood little gavel Order. i can't and this ended up selling for 11.24 plus shipping it's going out to miss eileen she purchased this for one of her lawyer buddies so miss eileen thank you and i hope they enjoy this i mean that's neat pick that up at a yard sale when, a couple months ago and just listed it so mm -hmm. that's cool thank you miss eileen and she also picked up some socks and in in 4a right here uh, this whole thing down to see if we can have elephant print socks in here oh, there they are right here see if we can put that back on right there can you hold them Miss Eileen picked these up for $7.49 plus shipping, and we will combine the shipment. I think that'll still go under first class. Let's check. Yeah, I may be able to get that to go first class. So hopefully we'll see. But um, thank you so much for your business, Miss Eileen. We sure do appreciate you and all the support. Now we got to get a vintage camel cigarette pack. And... Man, I've had these things for a while, and they usually not wasn't moving, and now all of a sudden they're just selling good, which is kind of odd. This one. Don't squish it. That's a Camel Lights hard pack cigarette pack, and it's got the Camel Bucks on the back there. That sold for eleven twenty plus shipping. Alrighty, the next sale is a pretty good one, and um, we've had we had these in our death pile for a while. And I finally took them out and listed them. We paid 10 bucks for them on an estate sale, so let's grab them right here. These are heavy, baby. I'll get them. So these are just um, white Davinian Marathon 2 paysetter wheels on them, roller skates, vintage. See them? Really good condition. And these sold for $93.74 plus shipping. And an awesome, awesome sale on them. So if y'all seen them old roller skates, look them up. Now we got to get a chess set right here. 
This is one we picked up around that 127 sale. It's that Civil War chest set. Y'all see that there? Pay 10 for this and the state sell this sold for $51.95 plus shipping on this. So we're gonna get this thing packed up. I'm gonna leave it in this box, but I'll put this box in another box probably. Now in M2, we gotta grab an adapter, AC adapter, so let's grab that. So this is just an AC adapter for a Dex, Dex, Dex point. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. Some kind of power cord. And this sold for $14 plus shipping. No idea. Now we got to get two Pyrex over here. So let's grab them. They don't have the lids. So these are just two Corning wear, the Vision. These may not even be Corning wear. Yeah. Vision Corning USA right here. Okay. And these two ended up selling for $19.98 plus shipping for the two of them. They're just 0 0.5 liter little boiler things. These sold for $19.95 plus shipping, not $98. Now we got to get two more audiobooks. Let's go over here and grab these. Luann Rice. It's going to be these two right here. See them jokers? Two audiobooks on CDs, Luann Rice. You got The Edge of Winter and Summer of Roses. Them sold for $11.99 plus shipping. I mean, overall, it was a pretty slow weekend. I don't know what happened, but I'm still grateful to have the sales. We had a couple of decent ones in there, and we had Miss Eileen's, which is always welcome and very appreciated. So thank you so much. But we're going to get this stuff packed up today and get it sent out and keep listing and working. Um, I also went and picked up the stuff to build this wall with to start it. I may have to go back and get some more one before, but we're going to start it today, maybe get it done so you all see that properly. Alrighty guys and gals, it is now Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, and um, didn't really film anything yesterday, we was working, and today we got some stuff done, so let me give you a quick tour before we pull the orders for yesterday and this morning, and um, one of those orders is really, really, really good, y'all need to be on the lookout for it, so let me give you a tour real quick of what we've done so far, I don't know if y'all seen this stuff or not, um, I moved my testing TV and stuff over here to this table right here so we can prep stuff test stuff that kind of deal and um, I'm gonna put this shelf this is the first one I'm gonna put right here and then do some more eventually um, nothing strange over here I need to take them nasty looking fly traps down anyhow so here's the first change we got up curtains here so y'all can't be seeing in my back room no more so we put these curtains here. We was going to separate it some more, you know, since the kids are going to be here a lot. Put these curtains here. And if y'all come over here, we got the wall built. Check that puppy out. Ain't that beautiful. America. We also put a light in right there. Yeah, put me a light in up there. Pointing out here so whenever we're shooting over here, y'all can see me better. But um, I'm debating on leaving them rope lights up or not. They don't look near as good as I thought they was going to. And then we put some icicle lights in between there. See that? And um, looks real good with the lights are off. Like when we're, in, when we're not filming, that light's off. And um, the back room's generally dark too. We'll just generally have this one fluorescent right here above the desk on. You want me to turn it off? And like um, we'll give you all the full effect in a second. But let me show you. I put another curtain here to block that off more. Enter. And see here. Y'all turn back around real quick and face me. So we got school Kinda books. Dark. School books all down through here. Well, let me cut on this light for you. There we go. School books all down through here. Nothing really changed back here except the wall. We got it up now. And um, that's what it looks like from the back side of it. But um, like I say, yes, generally dark back here unless we're back here working. And if the kids are back here watching TV, they'll have this this right here on you know just a lamp and um yeah come on back up here so let me go back here and unplug this white light and show you what it'll be like like when we're in here working y'all see it yeah? and generally too 
We'll also cut this side over here off because we ain't never over here. So, I mean, that's what it generally looks like in the shop here when the camera ain't on. About like this because, I mean, why waste power? We don't need it. We're usually over here working. And you can see this is all lighted up perfectly fine for how we need it. You know, just working right in here. You got the lights. So that's what it looks like normally. So let us get the lights back on since we are filming and we'll come back to y'all to pull the wood. Alrighty guys, we back. We got the lights cut on. That joker is bright, buddy. Mm, maybe y'all can see me. I don't know how this lighting's gonna work. Um, we can cut this one on too, maybe. If that makes a difference. It just lights up behind, like, yeah. in that little hole. We're gonna leave it off this video to see, and then whenever I post it, I'll go back and look and see if it looks dark. If it does, I'll leave that one on or get some more shop lights. I plan on getting some more kind of like that for in here. I mean, just one thing at a time. First thing we sold is a Sly 3 PS2 game. It's on this rack here somewhere. At the top. Right there. Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. It is complete. See that there? This sold 1331. Free shipping. Now in W8, we got to get some PS2 memory cards. I think it's a lot of four. So W8 right here. Yep. I just listed these. This is a lot of four PS2 memory cards. They're all eight megabytes. And um, these ended up selling $16.49 plus shipping. Now on E1, we got to get some buck screw thing for tree stands. Right here in this corner. Right here. Not really. Anyhow. This is a, the buck screw is what it's called. You basically, on them tree steps, you put this in there and it gives you a handle to turn, screw them in real easy. And um, this ended up selling for $11.24, free shipping. Now we gotta grab some Hanes Large Pants and W10. Lounge. Oh, Hanes Lounge Pants and W10A-3. W10A. Dash three. Size small Hanes X Temp lounge pants. Um, these ended up selling for us for thirteen forty nine free ship. Now we got to get a vintage camera case on W eight. I was gonna throw this thing in the garbage, and then I figured somebody may want it. And um, see this. Got like a green inside to it, just a little storage case. And this ended up selling for us for $14.99 plus ship. So happy with that. Now we gotta get two packs of Munsinger. Munsingware. Munsingware? I don't know how you say it. Underwear and N4A. N4A. There's one. There's two. Got them tidy whities So these are just two three packs. 36 tidy whitey draws, full rise briefs. And these ended up selling for $16.12 plus shipping. Now we got to get a a chemometer. Tachometer. A tachometer, a tachometer on F1. Hey, we bought this from Ernie not too long ago, didn't we? Mm hmm. Rusted. Untested. And, um. All disclosed. I have no idea nothing about it. It's made in the UK. Anyhow, this ended up selling for $29.99 plus shipping. Untested. And disclosed. Now on M2, we got to get a fingerling back over here. Right there. Y'all come here. See, this is lit up good. So I need to get me two more shop lights. Or one more, two more for over in the middle. What do you think? Man, we got to de-sticker this thing. Yep. Um, anyhow, if y'all see these, they're, they're not valuable. 
I'd stay away from them. I mean, this ended up, we paid two fifty for it back a long time ago. And it, um, back whenever, it was right at the time the fingerlings were big that year for Christmas. I mean, used to, these things was like two years ago, three years ago, these things were selling for like 75 bucks a pop. Now, you can't hardly give them away. This one sold for thirteen sixteen free shipping. Now we got to get a Namco PS2 game. Right side. It's got all the good games on it, like Dig Dug, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga. Regular Pac-Man. Regular Pac-Man. Skippy Kid. All these different games here. And uh, it is complete right there. Eleven twenty-four. Then free ship. Mm -hmm. Free ship. Hmm. Now, here is the big ticket item y'all need to look out for. It blew my mind. Um, paid a dollar for this and a lot. We bought 40 PS2 games for 40 bucks. And um, it's a PS2 game. This one right here. I showed it in my last video. And this is PS2 E or Dot Hack Part 4 Quarantine. This is the final chapter made by Bandai. Supposed to have the anime DVD. We don't have the DVD. If we did, we could have got more for it. It's just the manual, the case, and the game. And, um, yeah, pretty crazy. This sold for, y'all ready? 181.88 plus shipping. So all in, he's like 200 bucks because we charge priority mail for it for the insurance. So that's a good game to look out for. And that's our orders going out. So we got to get this stuff packed up and sent out. And then, um, we got a list some more. What I I cheated a little bit. So the past two days I've been really busy, you know, building that wall, helping with the. What else we've been doing? Seems like we've been working an awful lot. Oh, we got a new bed yesterday. We had to get set up, and they delivered it. And that kind of deal. So I took pictures of all these shot glasses, and I've been listing these. I got them all listed now, and um. I think we ended up with 35 of them. And I'm getting probably going to get like 8 bucks a piece for most of them plus shipping. Which I'm fine with. We give for all these it's like 14 bucks. 13 bucks. Yeah, 13 I think. But um, this one's cool. Look, bottoms up Alaska. Got the two mooses. I'll flip it over. And then like when you drink it. and it, See that? And there's also another. This one is my favorite. One of my favorites. Property Official Oklahoma Cow Tipping Association. But I've been listing these because basically I just cheated and took pictures of all of them. And it takes me like 12 minutes to list 15 of these things. So that's what I've been doing the past couple days just to get them listed. Easy listers, keep my numbers up. But now I'm out of them, so now i got to find other stuff to list. Which we're not slacking in that department. So... We got to get that done. That's a little little bit story. Got to get that done, and we're going to keep listing. And, I mean, that's it, I guess. Keep, uh, the work's almost done in here now. The only thing we got really left to do is we're going to buy some more lights to hang up here in the middle. Maybe one just to go right there when the lights are off. Yeah, I may put one over there in that corner or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. Got to figure all that out. But other than that, just working. That's what we've been doing, so... Anyhow, we should be getting back to our normal regular track stuff here soon, and then maybe now. And then we got the 411 yard sale coming up October the 1st through 4th. Fourth. So if any of y'all are in the area, please let us know so we can meet up with you. And I know Rev Nikki T's coming, Eric OBX Picker's coming, maybe some more folks. I ain't sure yet, but that's going to be a good time. Alrighty, guys and gals. So a few of y'all have messages on Instagram and left comments on a couple of the videos and reached out to us on three email for the past month or so wanting to know about if we could do Miss Courtney a virtual baby shower and I said well that sounds like great I mean it's quarantine anyway then we can get together with a bunch of family so that's a great idea so y'all who requested that thank you so much for that idea so we're gonna give Miss Courtney a virtual baby shower coming up here in the next month or two three you don't, know yet. don't know yet we're still figuring all all out the logistics and all that but i think what we'll do is she'll make up like a a registry through amazon and walmart 
and then once we get she gets that done and stuff and we figure out more we will give we'll put the link to that registry i guess in the I guess. in the description of the video or something we'll get it out there to you guys and gas you can go on there if y'all want to and then but you, don't feel obligated yeah don't feel obligated to this it's just for those who ask about it and then we'll plan a certain time for a live show and we'll have miss courtney in here and everybody you like know whatever. some of our family maybe and we'll film we'll set up a live show in here and then whatever has came from the registry that y'all bought her in the mail or whatever we won't open none of it and she'll open it all during the live show so y'all ladies can get together and everything and do <laughs> like a virtual it. baby shower live so that's an idea coming up in the works so thank y'all again all y'all who've reached out to us for that we will be doing that and excellent idea because i mean she's coming along it's almost done i don't like my belly button match well <laughs> so anyhow i just wanted to throw it out there but yeah you will, um y'all be looking forward to that i know we are and um yeah i guess that's it for this video so hopefully y'all enjoyed it and we should be back to regularly scheduled programming here now and um with both channels yeah with both channels so i got a lot of videos to edit and um, getting cool outside, getting hunting season. We got the barbecue competition coming up as we well. We also got the 411 yard sale. So it's going to be fun. So if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And we will see all you guys and gals on the next video. Bye, y'all.